who get the act, who get the action. Okay, Panther. Okay, you got it. Okay, John do the activity. John do the hitting. Okay, John hit Panther. So hit is after hit to Panther. Is that? And another case, if Panther do the hitting. Okay. So we have to do the activity, and John will get the action. Okay, and then we get action from Peter. Okay, so this is the proposition. This is the 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 formula. Okay, go to the the next point in this line. And other languages will have the opposite order. Opposite order, you know, opposite order, you know, order. If you compare to another language, okay, and to have additional markers to indicate the agent and affective, okay. So we have agent, okay, central user and affective, okay. The proposition, the proposition will have for agent, central user and affective. Can I look at the example? The number of uh, languages would use the order John Pepper hit. Okay, so you see here, it's not. If you compare to another language, the order of the concept is not like the uh, English language. Okay, say John Pepper hit, but in English you say John hit Pepper or Pepper hit John. Okay, when John is the Again, okay. If you talk about John is again, John Peter he. But when Peter is the again, when Peter is the again, you cannot say like that. You can say Peter John he. Okay. You understand what I mean? So I I mean that in here John and Peter can play as the again. Okay. It, it has two cases. If John is the agent, we can say John Peter hit. Okay. And if Peter is the agent, we can say Peter John hit. Okay. And this is different. And you will uh, consider that why it like that. Okay. Because the order of the language are different, not the same. Okay. Here we compare to another language. Okay. Okay. Next slide. Any one uh, proposition may be encoded in wide, wise way in a given language. Okay. The translator will look for the best way, the most natural way. Okay. Now, here are the example in English. Okay. Here are the example in English language. So the translator, the translator will look for the best way. Okay, he or she will choose a good way to translate. Can I look at the form together? Okay, the proposition John hit Peter. Okay, this is okay. This is the the proposition John hit Peter. My translator hit into English with any of the following form. Okay, we have only one proposition, we have only one form, but we can translate to another form. Okay, John hit Peter. Here, yeah, John hit Peter is the first, okay? And then we analyze to another form. Peter was hit by John, okay? Or uh, another example. The hitting of Peter by John. Peter, who was hit by John? Peter, the one John hit. Okay. Here are the way that the translator will choose to translate. Okay. You choose a good way, the best way for he or she. Okay. For, for him or her. Sorry. Okay, now we move to now, uh, the second main point that we presented, that we presented you by Mr. Pekka. Okay. Okay, welcome. Okay.
this question by uh, this call uh, item in the test. Yeah. For example, uh, the post the following sentence is good. first analyzed. It first analyzed by uh, the coming uh, which word uh, refresh even concept. Which uh, refresh thing uh, concept and which uh, refresh uh, at at the ball and uh, relation concept.
Okay, we talk about the proposition. And you know that proposition mean is a uh, is a grouping of concept. Concept here refer to refer to what? Refer to uh, semantic unit. Refer to refer to what? Refer to uh, meaning component. A group of meaning component. I just want to tell you that the proposition here just want to talk about it. a group of component. Okay, a group of concept. Okay, and second one, we talk about identifying event proposition. Okay, we have many uh, event proposition, and we need to identify and search with classify. Okay, we don't classify, right? And the last one, if we talk about the situation meaning of the proposition. Okay. So that's all for our presentation today. And thank you for your care and attention. Okay, now go to your question. Go to the question and answer. Okay. If you do not understand or you have any issue, what that you can ask. Okay. Any question? Question?
even proposition. You know, even identify the even. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now you see here, there are two main kinds of 
composition even. Okay, so now when we classify this one, we can see two, two kinds, two main kinds of proposition. First is even proposition, and second is set proposition. And I also, um, and I has already presented you that uh, even propositions is the proposition that has an even, that has an even after the proposition. You know, even, even in some context of concept is the same. Okay, like destroy and plan. They play as a verb in the proposition in the sentence. Okay? They are the even. They are the even proposition. Okay? And what do we call step proposition? Step proposition is the proposition that doesn't have even proposition. It doesn't have central concept. You understand? Me? Example. Okay. Now let's move to the example. Action. Okay. Uh, before you move to the example, I just want you to understand. Okay. What the what that uh, um, what are consisting uh, what are consisting in the uh, even proposition? There are three. Okay. <coughs> consists uh, even proposition consists of at least a central even a okay, central even a additional thing concept. Okay. The central event concept may refer to action, experience, or process. Okay, what, what is action? Action would be such as concept as run, hit, hit, and swim. And experience refer to a concept which refer to the activities of the five senses. You know, sense, you know five other five senses? Yeah. Or to, uh, right? to cognitive, cognitive. You know, cognitive, we have already learned, right? Okay. Or psychological activities, as for example, smell, see, hear, uh, sing, or okay, cope <laughs> And for that, we always represent a chain of step from one position to step of beginning to another. I mean, that example.
by the relation of ownership. So the meaning is the book is owned by or belong to Peter. You see the central concept? No, right? We have the work, but it's not the central concept. You see, it's not do the action, right? Preposition, we have agent and then work and then affect it. Okay? And we talk about agent and affect it. In the process, in the in a proposition, you will see agent and affect it. Okay? The one who do the action is the agent. And the one who get the action is affected. Okay? And the work who affected to perfect to the So, quiz, you can keep it as uh, their homework. You can let them do the quiz letter. Yeah, I can I mean, uh, I will uh, send this soft homework to our Telegram, to our Telegram. And then, have you printed out for them? No? Okay. Okay, okay, it's fine. Okay, so just, just drop it there and let them do uh, their homework. Yeah. And thank you very much for your presentation. Yeah, okay, thank, thank you for your opinion.